Hey guys, Jimmy Pokemon here. I thought I'd make a second video out of this. Basically, I just did the Sky Ridge uh, returns. I sorted them all out in order. Uh, these are all the duplicates, so I just throw these on eBay. And then got the nines here. But basically, how I do my inventory is I basically have to scan it right here. And then that's my uh, PC. Uh, sorry about the cables. I know that irritates some of you guys. And then I got a Word document open right here. Uh, it just makes it a little easier. And ultimately, what I do with the scanner is I just go through and... Oh, come on. Scan. Did it make it? Yeah, I made it on there. And I just go through, scan, 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 scan. Yeah, I know this might be a little boring, but I'll just show you like one row real fast. And I, I could go through and just do like all of them, but you know, I just did that one row real quick. And if I come over here, basically, you know, I have all these, I just throw them an Excel file or something. But what I'll do is I'll copy this and Okay, so I copied it and I'm going to my PSA like website. Got my inventory here. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I'll just do like add inventory. And then basically just come here, paste out those numbers. Again, this isn't everything. It's just uh, that first row. Click add PSA items. Let this pause, wait for a second. And it updated and I hit pause there because it was going to take a little bit. Basically see it adds it all to my sets and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Um, this is one way of keeping inventory like on the PSA website. So I click on the set and then I'm number two because this guy right here, you know, I just got to, I'll update the rest of them, but you know, you can click on my set right here and scroll down to the bottom and we'll make this more and you can see kind of where we're at. So these are the non hollows here at the beginning. Um, I actually have all these rares, just literally need to add them to the inventory. And you can see that little row we just scanned literally on the PSA website. That was really quick. Um, but that's kind of the public like cloud version I use. Then I also have like this massive like Excel sheet that I use uh, for just like private stuff. Um, this isn't everything. This is just kind of like my quick and dirty one. Uh, so these are actually the rares I still need at the time recording this. Oh yeah, and then this is kind of like my massive sheet I use to basically just track like where I'm at with all the sets and stuff. A few other numbers, E series, and I actually get in a bad habit of not updating this. Uh, I have like some lists in like the cloud and stuff like different, like whatever I update because they're quick and easy, but then I actually need to go through and update this a little bit. Uh, and this is like my massive like English sets like checklist here. And so if I scroll over, it's literally like all the English sets and then basically says how many I have and how many I need to check off. And I'm really using this kind of like a Microsoft like access um, database, but I just have it all in Excel and it just, you know, it does what I need it to do. So it keeps going, going, going. Uh, well, I was probably making you guys a little dizzy, but yeah, uh, I need to actually update that But the PSA sets on the website are good and then English promos doing pretty pretty solid right there I know you guys would probably rather look at the cards and go through all this uh, I'll show you just Japanese status. So I'd like to do Japanese at some point. It's gonna be it's gonna be really really hard to do um, I think this actually has prices on it. So I don't want to show all that but ultimately those are like my two main methods and then I have a few other Excel sheets that show like prices and some price history and you know a few other little things but these are kind of like my quick and dirty like hey do i have it do i not have it do i need the card so if something hits ebay i know like do i buy it or not but anyway just quick little way to show you how i uh inventory cards um there also is the psa app which i think a lot of people use uh, but if i'm doing like this many cards i'm trying to scan in um, i could just upload them directly like from my submission online but the problem is i take these out and I really don't want to worry about like, which ones I take out. And so like this little scanner right here makes it like 10 times easier. And so it's just on Amazon. I think it's like $13.99. But I posted something on Instagram and actually a lot of people really liked it. And so I thought, uh, hey, why not just make a quick video of how I do my inventory. And so also just kind of do the full circle right here. These are new cards going to my inventory. If I have old cards coming from my, like that I need to just re-inventory, I'll pull them out, literally put them on this desk here. I flip through them in like the Lions Good cases and I literally just scan, 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 scan like all the way through. And that makes it like 10 times easier literally just to go through and just scan them all up. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's pretty good of a, just a quick video here, just quick like five minute video. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't want to drag it out too long, just quick, easy. Hopefully you learn something new. Buy a scanner, makes it easier. Uh, until next time, take care guys.